to start on the baseline. Iverson dribbles the ball really low. Not that we want to copy the way he plays, but they're going to have to touch the ground. And they're going to come in the lane and shoot the ball. They won't pass it to you this time. Okay, go ahead, Chris. They're staying low. they got to keep their hand on the ground. And then it forces them to explode up. Get all the way in the lane. Try to get in the paint. Zach here loves this drill. Okay, then they can go from the other side. We call that our Iverson. Go ahead, Chris, one more time. Okay, and then along with that, real quickly, who can do the two ball the best? Roll in and give him two basketballs. Again, we want him to stay real low, so when they do their ball handling drills and we start practice out, they're going to roll one ball and dribble the other ball to half court. All right, Zach, go ahead. See if he can do this. Again, it's making him stay low and stay into a basketball position. Now switch going the other way. He's a pretty good ball handler. He can do this pretty well. Maybe not. And then we also make him take a tennis ball and dribble it and flip that tennis ball up in the air. That's, that's pretty hard. Now, here's why we do this. We, we run motion, and I want all five guys to be able to handle the ball. And most teams that we play, we always find one or two guys that can't dribble. And that's the guy that we always trap. Okay, we trap a lot defensively. So we work really hard at the beginning, beginning of practice. Zach Kelly here, number 33, he's a pretty good ball handler. He can run, he's 6'6", he's he can come out on the floor, he can handle the ball. Since he was about in third grade, he's been doing these dribbling drills. And now he's a senior in high school. And, and he can run our motion offense. He can run it, he can handle it, and he can cut. Okay, the next thing we do, we call it our chair drill, pass it to coach, 